Can you hear the drum? Hello buddies, I'm Hugo. In this video, I would like to present you a tutorial about how to use this standardized RC kit to convert this static model into an RC warship. And I choose this classic Tamiya Yamato 78030 as an example. Generally speaking, this set of kit includes main rudder, auxiliary rudder, four propellers with voice boards and shafting box, couplings, and four powerful motor with mount. Well, take one of the shaft for rehearsal. Begins with the couplings connect with a motor, and the motor stay with the aluminum heatsink. On the other side, settle the voice board first. Then comes with the propeller. That's a general approach. We use the propulsion system. The brass rudders are tightened with steering arm to control the direction of the ship. Both are perfectly with appear the details of original kit. The last step of preparation is welding a capacitance on four motors respectively. The first step of conversion is begin with reforming the hole for shafting installation. Because of the original hole of the hull is so tiny, we're gonna enlarge it to 3mm in diameter, which is exactly the size of outer diameter of the shafting box. After roughly drilling by 2.5mm drill, then we switch to 3mm and drill it manually. Take this step slow and do it carefully. Just slightly enlarge it and here we step on 3mm electric long drill. Of course, we have to hold the drill in coaxial perception of original design. Frankly speaking, it is hard to identify whether the drill is in the right angle, so we require the assistance of original plastic rice port. Such during work may repeat several times until we could smoothly settle the shafting box. However, this settlement is temporary. Just let a bit of shafting box exceed the outside tail. Follow the instructions to find out the right kit. Of course, cut it out. When we hear the sound of a click, that means he stay in the right position. It is quite an essential approach to calibrate the precision of the shafting box, because only in accordance with the original white sport, which is always correct, could we identify the central axis of the shafting box is exactly in the coaxial position with the white sports. That's the reason why we're done with the drawing work first, then we proceed to calibration in fellow step. Make sure the adjacent shafting boxes are in parallel position from top wheel, confirming the box stably sits in the slot. Just use a bit of AB glue, a kind of epoxy adhesive. Mix it in two portions in one to one before use. That may be slightly different from the direction of the original slot. Because for some of ejection manufacturing reason, the shafting slot is in radial divergence, but not the parallel. The base of white port is ejected as a tiny platform. In this section, we use 0.5 diameter electric drill to remove it. How to exactly review the shape of plastic kit? It's a crucial approach to deal with brass white spores. Handing both kit together, say in coaxial precision, then the sharp nose pliers hold the upper side of the supports. Meanwhile, manually bend the feet to vertical direction until the brass white spores 
could smoothly installed into the hull. Due to the feed is welding with the shafting in timbers, do not recklessly bend this part, otherwise it will result irreversible damage. Before inject the AB glue, carefully steer the tape from side to side to prevent the glue leak from the gap. Because the glue may take around 15 minutes to solidification, meanwhile it is flowable. Mix the glue in the syringe in advance. Before it gets solidated, inject it to the slots and the feed of white pores within around 10 minutes. After half an hour, the set of parts will firmly be consolidated. Pairing up the tapes and our first two sections of tutorial close to an end. Actually, this is also a general tutorial for reference of fans who love RC conversion, as we got plenty of brass RC kits for various worship. The approach mentioned in the video is also available for L's ship model. Welcome to follow my channel and great thanks for your patience. I will update you very soon. See you guys there.